Maddie and Chloe. And they're amazing because they have each other to compete with. I think the Maddie versus Chloe rivalry gets old. They are really, really fierce competitors. When we see our girls dance together, we know they belong. She's together. not even trying to hide her favoritism anymore. Why wouldn't you want to be like Maddie? I want to be like Maddie. Jealousy and success go hand in hand. Maddie needs to get used to it because she's going to be successful. I need the girls to come in. I need everybody to come in, but I need you to get your crowns and get them on that table. I even had to bring her crowns in because I want her to realize that this is something to be proud of. It's a huge accomplishment and Star Power is proud of her. She is a little star right now. She's the winner. Own it, be proud. Rub it in their faces if you have to. This is a piece of metal and two combs and some rhinestones. This does not make you a winner. What was she saying? How many crowns have you won? Oh. Right. This but is let, the best. Let me bring these and rub them in your face. Exactly. These are recent. This is Petite Mustiance. That was a toughie. But once again, you can't win a crown if you're never sent to go. Starbound. Ooh, that's pretty. Energy. And Maddie still wins just because she has better choreography, and Abby makes sure of that every week. She makes sure that Maddie has the best choreography out of this group. And you can sit here and get mad at me, but you know it's true. There's no question. DEA. Oh, I'm running out of room. I didn't want to show all the crowns to the girls, but I followed the rules and I did it. But then the moms kind of got mad, and I didn't like that at all. But Melissa, why would you bring them? She told me to. Well, and they when called she me she bring them say, no, my daughter's uncomfortable she is doing uncomfortable. this in front of her friend. Your kid is uncomfortable. But you're getting them out now, Melissa. They already did it. I'm not getting them out. Are you going to tattle on us? <sighs> yeah, I'm going to go tattle on you. Mm, I, I wouldn't be surprised. You need to get these set up so that you put a sticker on the back of these. Girls, I just want to tell you, I don't want you to think that Maddie's doing this to make you feel bad. Ad Maddie was instructed to do this, and I see your faces, and I feel really bad. I'm sick of hearing it. And you are taking her successes, and you're squashing them down. She has a right to jump up and scream and yell and be excited. It's ridiculous. If you want a crown, work for it. What happened, Melissa? What did she say to you? We, she never gets excited. I'm, you know, we squash every victory because, you know, we don't want people to hate her and just people to hate me. We tell Abby, kiss my ass. I'm not bringing them in. It's rude. We deal with it every week. We realize that our it kids is. aren't stupid. They realize it. All right, are we ready? We're gonna run it with everybody together. I'm really pissed. This competition was set up from the get-go that it, it wasn't going to be a fair fight. Abby entering Maddie's two solos in the competition this week makes perfect sense to me. Abby only cares if Maddie does well, because if Maddie wins the overalls, Abby looks good. I don't see why it wouldn't be fair for my daughter to do two solos. And it's really none of the other mom's business what my daughter is doing. I was very impressed with Maddie. Her taps were clear as a bell. Beautiful performance. I'm kind of nervous. There's a little bit more pressure on me because I want to win the same thing as Chloe and maybe even more. I am so fed up with the BS. Melissa needs to pull Maddie's second solo. It's not fair. Melissa! Melissa! Yeah? I, I guess she's letting her dance. And I called her and she ignored me. No one has a chance in hell of winning against Maddie. She has two solos. She already has twice as good of a chance as anyone else. Christy's mad because Abby put two solos in for Maddie. Maddie does two solos at every single competition we go to, and she has for the last two years. Next up, judges, we have an advanced mini lyrical solo. Please welcome Chloe with Mother. <laughs> uh, 
That's Chloe with Mother. I can't even look at Melissa. It's always all about her daughter and no one else. Our kids count too. Good job, honey. I really don't care what Christy thinks. She would do anything for her daughter to win. I don't do anything for my daughter to win. My daughter wins on her own. All right, now it's time to announce our overalls for our advanced mini soloists. I will announce the top 10 highest scoring advanced mini solo entries that we have seen today. Here are our top four. Fourth place overall mother, that's Chloe from I don't like to lose, but I don't ever lose anyway. And our first place overall top scoring advanced mini soloist receiving a $75 check and the trophy is cry. That's Maddie from Abby Lee Dance Company. Congratulations. Huge round of applause for our top scores. Let's give a big round of applause. Undefeated. Aren't you happy? Congratulations, you guys. Take that big wacky bow. Whatever. You know what? She is not going to ruin this day. And the trophy. Good. This is not fair. Chloe was learning a dance 12 hours ago in a studio, and you expect a nine-year-old to go on stage and like be flawless? Our kids were set up to fail. I'm done. I don't want to say anything else. Good job! Yay! Good job, baby. Good job. Good job. All right, let's go. Abby, I think we need to talk. No, you're not going to ruin this day. No, we no. need to talk, Abby, in the hallway now. Are you kidding? I'm a paying client, and you won't speak to me. No, nothing's worth that much money. I think the worst thing that Christy can do is talk about me when her daughter is present. I cannot get Chloe to trust me if her mother doesn't trust me herself. I'm so excited for you, because she got no, the we best We don't want to ruin the weighted victory. <laughs> I'm not ruining today. No, Abby, what, what, we need to go in the here? hallway. Don't be doing this why in front of my daughter, here? Chris. Abby, we can all go in the hallway, because I tried to talk to you, and I tried I'm to not talk talking to you to personally. You. Yes, let's go why in the hallway. I'm not the going anywhere. Just won. My daughter's happy. Let's go in the hallway. Do you want to talk about all the things that need to be talked about? Not here. Because not now. This is you the won't weekend. talk about, about it. And you won't talk about it. I won't it. You you ever talk to, to you again. Me. Abby, you not I'm not me. talking about You're it. You're making my daughter cry. Talk so about shut up. Talk about what? Yeah, how many times has my daughter beat your daughter this year? Fight. We would act against everybody this weekend because you did it. Get out of here now. Let's go. Bitch. Let's go! Hey, that your kids feel bad, but it doesn't matter that my daughter yeah. feels bad. Your daughter is holding a national title, and I will take it away in a minute! Go ahead and take it away, Abby. I will. I'll leave your studio. That's fine. Where are you going to go? No, come with me. Girls, they are staying with me. You are uneducated mess. Quit drinking! I'm not going on that bus. That okay. bitch. Okay. So, cry. I'm telling you. Give me a phone. No, she didn't you even do her. You are out of control. I'm the asshole for staying in your studio. There you go. Then I need to leave. You're done. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Welcome to Las Vegas. Now, at the top of the pyramid, Chloe. Maddie, I'm giving you the week off. I'm sick and tired of all the mothers talking about Maddie gets all the attention and Maddie gets a pretty costume and Maddie gets this and Maddie gets that. I took Maddie out of the equation. Now who are they going to blame? Chloe, you wanted this shot. Your mother, all I hear is it's Maddie, 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 Maddie. This is your shot. Here we are in Las Vegas and you better win. Ready, Chloe? Let's go. Bigger jump. That needs to be big. Well, Miss Abby says this week I have to win because I don't have Maddie competing against me. Go out there and do your best and win because you're great. Chloe has amazing opportunities. She has an amazing future ahead of her. And I know she has what it takes. She can be tough. She can be very tough. Tom Bay, part of more rank. We saw it. Head up. So you were at the top of the pyramid, kiddo. Yeah, but Miss Abby was saying to me, like, Oh, since Maddie's not in this, you have to win. You have to win. You, have you to don't win. have to win because Maddie's not in this. You're Chloe. You're different. And there's nothing wrong with being Chloe. Chloe is amazing. Because I wouldn't trade one Chloe for 100 Maddies. This week, Abby is putting an exorbitant amount of pressure on Chloe. She's screaming at her, telling her, you're at the top of the pyramid. You better win. But I promise you, I pinky swear, I pinky swear that I will not let her continue to treat you this way, 
okay? All right, lock it. I love you too. <sighs> Chloe, I'll be back, okay? When Chloe told me that Abby has been screaming in her face and belittling her and talking to her the way she is, I, I will not put up with this anymore. I, I can't, I can't. It is my duty as Chloe's mother to put an end to it. I need to talk to you. This is rude again, come on. Christy came to my hotel room unannounced, which I did not appreciate. You won't talk about rude. Christy is rude, arrogant, and she's clueless. You're not paying me for this time. You owe me this time. She is a beautiful dancer. She's a great kid, but she Treat looks with like you that. with one eye. Like this, scared to death to fail. Oh my God, all she does is fail. All you do is set her up to fail. You. She's did. holding two national titles. You, went, you, up, you went backstage before something and said, be like Maddie. Who does that to a kid? Deny it all you want, deny it all. Why you wouldn't you want to be like Maddie? I want to be like Maddie. Because Chloe doesn't need to be like Maddie. Chloe is Chloe and that is good enough. For who? For her. Not for you. Yes, it is. Then why are you so jealous of an eight year old? Oh my God. You should love her unconditionally. I do. Abby, don't you dare question my parenting. I, I, I do. The bottom line is, I would really appreciate it if you could just be a little bit kinder to my daughter. That's the bottom line. My tears aren't a sign of sadness. They're really frustration. I'm so frustrated with this woman. She will never understand my point of view because she's not a mother. So Chloe's at the top of the pyramid this week. And what are your expectations for her? I expect her to win, hands down. I expect okay. people to be talking about Chloe. Okay. People should be buzzing about her. I just want to leave kind of and move forward because we're obviously kind of stuck with each other. I agree. I, I know I agree. that you're, you've said it point blank. You don't like me. I said I can't stand you. I'm not as bitchy as I come across. I saw a more human side of Christy. She broke down a little bit. I saw her be a little bit more emotional. However, I hope I got through to her that I do have Chloe's best interest at heart. She just needs to let me do my job. Since the group didn't do as well as I like, the pressure is really on for the solos. They need to take it to another level. I went and I had a talk with Miss Abby. You're not in trouble. She's not gonna yell at you. Abby is putting an exorbitant amount of pressure on a little girl. You just go out there and worry about you. Our final performance, contestant number 364, is Chloe performing Missing You. hoping beyond hope that Chloe kind of squeaks into the top 10. I hate to give Abby any kind of an opportunity to torture my daughter. Overall champion, routine 116, champ. I'm over all the excuses. No more excuses, Christy. No more my poor Chloe. No more Abby shows favorites. Your kid was the favorite this week. She blew it. I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed in the routines. I'm disappointed in the judging. I'm disappointed in all of you. I'm done. I've had it. My name is not going to go down. Uh-uh. Do you understand that? All of you, step it up. Sometimes it's hard being one of Abby's like favorites because there's so much pressure on me. Abby's always like, well, Maddie can do this, and Maddie can do this. I'm like, you know, I really can't do all that stuff. <laughs> and it's like, I have to work so hard, and I just feel bad half the time. I remember when you had to beg to dance because Abby said you didn't have the passion. I'm at the studio every second minute hour of the day and it just, like I had to beg to have a solo because she wouldn't give it to me for three weeks because she thought I wasn't dedicated. And I used to cry when I went to sleep at night because I was like, she doesn't like me, she doesn't want me to dance anymore. My mom encouraged me to go talk to Abby and say I was ready to do a solo. Well, I'm totally confident and I'm ready to compete. Are you ready? 
Yes. Can you beat everybody? I think. Yeah. Well, you but you don't look. You're like yes. I think yes. But if you don't want to do it, don't do it. Nobody cares. You act like someone's making you do it. I want to do my solo. I think I can do my solo. I'm ready to do my solo. Very wishy-washy. That's not a game face. That's not the Maddie face I know. The Maddie that's jumping and warming up, trying to psych Chloe out. You go out there with that face, she's going to beat the crap out of you. Stop with the tears. Babies cry. Not you. Do you understand that? Yes. It's my dance company. I say who's dancing and who isn't. Well, now you know how I feel every day. Yeah. <laughs> but it was only three weeks. You only had a solo three times in one season. <laughs> <laughs> That is true, Nia. <laughs> it was three weeks without a solo. I actually did tell my mom. I was just like, now I know how Nia feels. <laughs>